All right. So <clears throat> right now I am inside the um, program for iMovie. When I open it up, it goes directly to this page right here, Projects. And you'll see here I've got thumbnails from lots of other uh, movie projects that I've done, and they're basically just different workouts that I've done. So up here in the top left, you see there's a box, like a grayed out box with a plus sign in it. That's just to start a new project. So you just hit that plus sign, and you can tell it you want to do a movie or a trailer. You're going to want to do a movie, so you just click right there. When you do that, what you can do is you can decide where you want to go. So mine started out in, in moments. You can pick just video, or you can go to photos or albums. So if I go to albums, I've actually got one on here called workouts and these are just previous workouts that I've done so I'll uh, I'll show me editing you know one of my previous workouts that's actually already edited just to show you how to do it anyway so like here's one that I had already edited but it's you know it's a video it's no big deal we'll bring it in so once you get the clip in this is kind of what you're looking at so up here in the top is kind of your preview window and You've got some different options on here. I'm really just going to show you how to go through here and do a basic edit. I'm not going to show you like every feature because it's not really necessary. But um, what you want to do is if you come down here to the bottom and scroll left and right, you'll see you've got this play line going across your video down here at the bottom. This is kind of like your sequence or your timeline. And as you scroll left and right and you look up top, it's showing you the preview of the video. If you were to go to the beginning and then just come up here and actually hit that triangle for play, it'll just start playing the video for you. But I always edit mine from like a pause mode. So what you do is you watch your video and you're probably not going to want to keep everything in your video. What you do is you get to the clips that you really like, the stuff that you really want to show. Um, and say you're like, okay, I like, I like this move right here. So what you'll do is, so you'll get to a certain spot and you want to get that, you would definitely want to get that clip. So, when you get to where you want, press that timeline at the bottom. You see it kind of outlines it all in yellow. Now, once you do that, you've got some options down here at the bottom of your screen. If you look at the very far bottom, you've got a pair of scissors with like a white square going around them. That's what's selected right now. If you select the one right next to it, that looks kind of like a speedometer, which really it's like a, it's like a clock. Then you have different options above. Same for the, uh, the speaker. You control the volume of the clip. Text, if you want to add text or filters if you want to add filters to it. So where I spend most of my time is just right here on the pair of scissors because that's really that's really all you need to make a really quick change to videos <coughs> to get them ready to go. So once you're once you're on your clip and you know hey that I want to cut it right here, you would just go ahead and up here where it says split, detach, duplicate and delete, you're going to hit split. So when you did that, you basically split the clip right there at that spot. And then you scroll forward and say, well, maybe I didn't get it just the right spot there. I really just wanted this move here where I'm in uh, Road Warrior. I'm flexing. So I'll come to right. right There's kind of where it starts. So I'll come up here again. Press on that if I want to to do a split. And then split again. And then this other very brief second right here is its own clip now if you just clicked on that down here next to duplicate press delete it got rid of that for you so now you go straight to this one and say you just want this little this little snip of the clip right here where you're doing the flexing and then maybe leaning back into reverse road warrior get it right to where it stops press that clip again hit split at the bottom and now you've got that whole clip right there sectioned off and that's what we wanted to do. And then maybe you don't really care for this clip at the end, but oh, you like this, you know, going into dead bug right here. So get right where the dead bug starts, right here. Just select that clip again, hit split. And now your dead bug clip is back here. And this right here is split out. And maybe you don't want this clip right here. So we'll just select that and hit delete. So now you've got your road warrior pose. You get your dead bug, and then you just kind of look through here, and you're like, well, I wonder if I, you know, like any other ones. And maybe you uh, you like this right here because you've got some balance work. So you just get right to where it starts. Press the clip. Hit split. Scroll through until it stops. We'll say we'll go ahead and stop it right as soon as I start to lean back. 
we'll do right here we'll just say that's where i'm going to want to stop so i'll hit split and then all this right here we'll just delete it and then you've got some stuff here in the front but maybe that's just stuff that you didn't really care for you don't want so we'll say we're just going to delete that so you've got like three different moves that you did here now this is a pretty this is a pretty small uh video clip package it's only 37 seconds but especially if you're trying to post this to like instagram or something really you only get 60 seconds to work with and the truth is most people aren't going to watch beyond like 30 seconds anyway so um when you're doing your workouts you're probably going to want to save a longer video than 37 seconds but depending on the workout like if i do a workout that's like you know an hour long usually my highlight clip that i was posting um to my like sync.com account for DDP yoga to go through whenever they were considering me as a finalist usually for like an hour-long workout my highlight video for that workout was like six to seven minutes and I just picked the the moves that I thought you could see progress in uh, in what I was doing so once you get these together here you'll notice there's like real hard breaks between them like it goes straight from that right to that it's kind of a harsh break you can add transitions to make this a little smoother you see there's a little box with a line right here that's in between the clips. If you select that, now you have some options at the bottom down here. I always do the one that's called Dissolve. And now watch it. There you go. Get a nice little fade there. A little easier on the eyes. Looks a little nicer. There's different ones you can use. I mean, you can, you can do like a, a slide if you if you think that looks cool. I think the fades just look better because it's kind of a clean look and it's not like overproduced or something, you know, it's just simple. So say so you got a little dissolves on there. Yeah, it gives you some nice transitions. And maybe you want to put something at the beginning of your clip as, you know, some text or something. Uh, maybe to give it like a title or something like that. If you do that, when you come down here, select your clip. And at the bottom, you're on the scissors. Come over here to the option where it's a T for text and just click this. And they've got different options here you can use. If you click on one, you'll see up there on the preview where the text will end up. And they each have like different effects that you can do. So this reveal one here is kind of cool. So if you pick this reveal one and then you go up here to this preview window at the top and you double tap like on that text, you can just select all this text and you can just put a uh, Maybe up here you want to put the workout title. Press done. And now you'll have the workout title. Now you'll notice that text is going to be on this entire clip. So the entire time that clip is playing, that title is going to be there. And you might not like that. Like that might be too long. You might have just wanted that title to be on there for just a second and then to go away. Well, I'll show you a trick that you can do for that. So you come back to it, come up here, and say you comes in right about here, and maybe for like two, three seconds, that's as far as you want to go, just hit pause, select your clip, and go back to the scissors, and hit split, and then check that out. So now you just created the end point for the title, but you didn't like change the clip at all. It split it, but the clip still plays seamlessly. So when you come back to the front now and you just hit play, place your clip, you've got your nice little title at the beginning and then it fades out right when you wanted it to and the clip continues to play. Keep going, you've got your transitions going into your next positions and so forth. So that's just adding titles to your slides. You can do that too. And there's some interesting uh, titles that you can put on there. So that's basically just how to get your clip in, how to cut the pieces that you really want, how to add some decent transitions to them, and how to put titles uh, on there if you'd like to do titles. And the titles and stuff you can just kind of play around with. Um, I didn't really show you if you really wanted to. You could go down here and put some, uh, you know, different uh, effects on them if you wanted to. Some different filters. Um, I wasn't really big on that because I wanted my stuff to look as, um, as much like the original video as possible. Because I never wanted my filters to be distracting from the content itself. So that's what I did. Now, when you're finished with this and you're like, hey, I like this. This is this is a pretty good finished product. I'd like to export this. You just hit done up here in the top left. And it's going to ask you if you want to edit it again or if you want to uh, do some stuff down here at the bottom. If you see the box at the bottom with an arrow going up, that's basically your export option. So if you press that, 
and you can give it a name up here if you want to. Sometimes I would name mine. Um, it's helpful when you go back in your projects later and you want to know which workout this is. You might just want to come here and just be like, oh, if this was stand-up 2.0, then I'll just say, okay, so this was a stand-up. And I'd have to put 20 or just, you could just put two because you can't put a period in the name for this, so I'd have to put stand-up 20. And then come down here where this box with the arrow coming out of it is and you press that. And this is going to say, how, what do you want to do with this? And you just want to save video. Now it's going to say, how do you want to do this? I would always recommend doing these at a 1080p because if you are wanting to use these for the challenge and stuff like that, it's, they're going to want a higher quality video to be able to use. So I wouldn't do anything less than a 1080p. So you just press 1080p and it starts to export your movie. As soon as it finishes exporting your movie, it's going to put it in your regular camera roll wherever your photos go, and you can just go there, and if you want to take it from there, what I would recommend doing that I did not do in the beginning, which is a very good idea, is when it's in your camera roll, take it and add it to an album. Create yourself an album and call it like DDPY Workouts, and every time you're done editing one of these videos, dump it there, you know? And you can even have a folder that's called DDPY Workouts to Upload, and know that those are the workouts that you still need to upload to like your Dropbox or your, your cloud account somewhere. But that's just an easy way to edit a video through iMovie and, you know, some tips on how to organize them on your phone and stuff like that. Because I've, you know, I had so much footage and, and pictures and stuff on my phone. It's a real mess once you have to go through and try to upload all of it if you didn't keep up with it as you go. So you want to make sure to manage this process as you go because you don't want to get to the end of the challenge and have to do all of it. You know, because you might not even be able to do it in the evening. When you're talking about six months worth of stuff, it might just be too much. So you want to manage that process as long as you go. But if you guys have any other questions, I hope this video was helpful. You can reach out to me. But um, hopefully this helps give you guys some ideas on how to use iMovie to uh, quickly do your videos.